Nitric nitrates and they are huge in angina pectoris. Organic nitrates uh, are the drugs which have nitrates in their structure and they can be divided into short acting and uh, long acting. And the short acting drugs are usually used uh, as and when required and uh, they are used uh, under the tongue of the drugs like uh, nitroglycerin or uh, glyceryl trinitrate okay and iso sorbide dinitrate these drugs are the short acting uh, nitrates and the long acting nitrates are uh, mm, so iso sorbide dinitrate this is used sublingually okay and same isosorbide dinitrate if we use orally then it is a long acting isosorbide dinitrate and isosorbide mononitrate erythritol tetranitrate Pentaerythritol, tetranitrate, these are all long acting drugs. So, short acting and long acting drugs are there. Okay. And the nitrate in them is usually responsible for their action. So, before that, let us know how in the blood vessels the contraction of uh, smooth muscles of course blood vessel is a smooth muscle and calcium uh, when enters it binds with a cytosolic protein called calmodulin to form calcium calmodulin complex and this calcium calmo calmodulin compa complex activates one enzyme called myosin light chain kinase myosin light chain kinase that is mlck is activated so this is activated now and this myosin light chain kinase activates the myosin or phosphorylates the myosin to myosin phosphate okay and there are two contractile proteins one is actin and the other is myosin which uh, causes the contraction of smooth muscle so now act myosin phosphate it has the energy now in the form of phosphate so actin now binds with myosin and there will be contraction of vascular smooth muscle okay so vasoconstriction of course so if we want vasodilatation or relaxation of the vascular smooth muscle then we have to inhibit this one and this can be inhibited by the uh, nitrates okay so suppose this is the um, this is the blood vessel okay so let us write first it will, uh, in the next slide we will show in the, the organic nitrates they they actually activates the guanyl cyclase and there will be formation of cyclic GMP and this inhibits this activation of MLCK. So how it does this in detail will let us see. Suppose this is the blood vessel and uh, so this is your uh, vascular smooth muscle and these are the endothelial cells the cells of the blood vessels okay and uh, the amino acid like cysteine they have the uh, they have the sh groups okay so when we have the organic nitrate so they they release the nitrate no3 or o So, <clears throat> this ONO2 
is uh, uh, converted to or a o n o or n o 2 okay n o 2 so n o 2 then uh, is converted to nitric oxide so this is uh, these are uh, drugs like acting like pro drugs the which release the nitric oxide and these uh, endothelices they sustain and sustain amino acid having sh groups okay so the sh groups now with nitric oxide they will form nitrosothiols okay and this nitrosothiol then activates guanylate cyclase guanylate cyclase enzyme so guanylate cyclase is activated now this guanylate cyclase activate uh, activated guanylate cyclase then converts gtp to cyclic gmp and this cyclic gmp then uh, inhibits the conversion of mlck activation so when it is inhibited when it is inhibited so there it will lead to relaxation of vascular smooth muscles okay so in this way so organic nitrates they release nitric oxide with the sulfidyl groups they form nitrosothiol which activates the enzyme guanylate cyclase and guanylate cyclase uh, converts gtp to cyclic gmp and cyclic gmp inhibits the activation of the enzyme mlck because of which the, the myosin is not phosphorylated and there will be no actin myosin binding and there will be relaxation okay so <coughs> this organic nitrates they they have they dilate both artery and vein so organic nitrates have the drugs which dilate both artery as well as vein and by dilating the artery mainly uh, the action is coronary artery the artery which supplies blood to heart so by dilating the coronary artery they um, increase the blood supply to heart so they are useful in angina pectoris second when they dilate the vein and uh, usually they dilate the dilate large veins okay when they dilate the large veins so the blood the blood accumulates in these veins so there is pooling of blood in veins so the blood accumulates in the veins and uh, the venous return to heart because the veins are the uh, blood vessels which supply blood to the heart so venous return to heart will decrease because the blood is accumulated in the veins so the preload decreases preload means the blood supply to the heart is is, is the preload so venous blood this is the venous blood supply to the heart this is the preload so more the blood goes more the work has to be done by the heart so the preload decreases that means we can say the workload of heart decreases okay and because of this there will be decrease in myocardial oxygen consumption so two things the workload is decreased as well as the blood supply is increased in this way in these two ways they are useful in angina pectoris so in angina pectoris just to remind you in angina pectoris what happens the blood supply to heart is less than blood demand of heart and the blood supply to heart can be increased by dilating the artery the coronary artery rather and by the blood demand of heart can be decreased by decreasing the preload 
and that is by dilating the veins so in this two way the organic nitrates act this is the mechanism of action and because of uh, this there will be side effects uh, side effects like uh, headache dizziness and uh, they also show uh, postural hypotension hypotension so by changing the posture there will be decrease in blood pressure because of uh, uh, gravitational pulling of blood because the veins are dilated usually when we when we are in a supine position and we stand up uh, suddenly then there is gravitational pulling of blood but this gravitational pulling so there is uh, usually there is there should be gravitational pulling of blood when we suddenly stand up from a supine position but uh, there is a reflex action and there is veno constriction so because of veno constriction this gravitational pulling of blood is avoided but since these organic nitrates are veno dilators they uh, they cannot do this veno constriction this reflex action is Uh, absent in in those cases and because of which the blood pressure falls and postural hypertension so blood pressure means the there is gravitational pulling of blood and no blood uh, supply to the brain and the patient falls down so that is called postural hypertension and uh, because of vasodilatation there will also be tachycardia so these are the side effects associated with organic nitrates and the organic nitrates uh, if we differentiate uh, between uh, the mechanism of uh, or actions of organic nitrates and uh, calcium channel blockers then uh, the difference is the onset of action is rapid in case of organic nitrates whereas it is relatively slow slow relatively slow in case of uh, calcium channel blockers and the relaxation is incomplete in case of uh, organic nitrates whereas in calcium channel blockers the relaxation is complete and the action is transient only for less time whereas the action is persistent in case of calcium channel blockers so the calcium channel blockers the we can uh, use calcium channel blockers here so by inhibiting the uh, calcium we can uh, inhibit the contraction of um, blood vessels whereas the organic nitrates they inhibit the activation of myosin lysine kinase okay so this the uh, it's all about organic nitrates thank you